Hi folks and welcome to Masterclass. Today we're back in the classroom because we're going to discuss balancing the load in your camper or your caravan. On social media we're seeing week in week out caravan accidents, cars and caravans upside down on the highway. Often this can be caused by incorrect loading in your caravan. If you don't load it properly you can create handling problems, pendulum effects, cause them to sway and upset the balance of the whole rig. So we're going to have a look at how we can minimise that sort of effect today. Some of the terminology that you're going to see when talking about this are things like tear weight. Your tear weight of your caravan is A, the ball weight or the weight on the jockey wheel plus the weight on the axles. This is measured when the trailer is empty ready for use with all the standard fitments that come with it when you purchase it from the manufacturer. No water in the tanks, no people on board. ATM. Now, ATM is measured as the weight on the ball of the jockey wheel, the weight on the axles, combined with the load inside the trailer. Now, a manufacturer will uh, implement a maximum ATM. You'll find that on your compliance plate, so be sure you know what that is. Ball weight. Now, ball weight is the download on your tow bar from the draw bar. No jockey wheel down, that is just the dead weight on the tow bar. GTM is the axle load plus cargo. It doesn't factor in the tow ball weight and GCM is your gross combined mass. That is the weight of your vehicle and the entire weight of the caravan and the ball weight as a combination. Now there's a basic rule of thumb with handling of trailers. That rule of thumb is you are actually looking for a ball weight or a load on your tow bar that represents between 9 and 11% of the total weight of your trailer. So that is ATM, A plus B plus cargo. 10% of the entirety of it is optimum on the table. What that does is it creates a steady weight on the trailer. It'll tow nicely, it won't swing or get a pendulum effect. Changes slightly with dual axles, they can be a bit more forgiving with a lighter ball weight, but you don't want to go to extremes. So, if we can achieve 10% there, we are in business, we're at a good starting point. But, how do we achieve that? Often, most of the storage in a caravan or trailer is gonna be in the front section. So it's very easy to go beyond that 10% and start getting some ridiculous ball weights. You have to keep in mind what the ball limit is on your tow vehicle with the manufacturer. Now, if we're starting to get a bit heavy, what we want to do then is load the weight above the axles. Get as much weight as we can above the axles while still achieving 10% on the tow bar. What you don't want to do is start loading too much weight at the back of the caravan. What happens then is if you're loading at the back of the caravan, you're gonna create a pendulum effect. Now imagine, get two two litre bottles of milk, hold them out at arm's length and then spin, then try and stop in a hurry. What it's gonna do is there's gonna be inertia. The weight of four kilos is gonna to wanna to keep spinning you around. But if you hold those in close to your chest and spin, you'll find you'll stop a lot quicker, a lot easier same thing will happen with a caravan. So if you load a large amount here and here, if you get unsettled on the road, you're going to get a pendulum effect, it'll upset the handling and can become dangerous. So where you want to put your load is between here and here. This is our best zone. With camper trailers, often they'll come with a rack which sits bang smack over the axles great place to load that extra weight. That's why we put tinnies at boats, etc. 
right there. That's where it's going to have the least effect on the handling of the trailer. What you can do is grab yourself a ball weight scale. You can pick them up at Repco or Super Cheap for as little as $100. Place that underneath the coupling and that'll tell you exactly what download you have on the ball. And that'll give you a really good indication if you're in the ballpark for safe handling. Very worthwhile investment. And just so you know you're not overweight, load your trailer with all your normal gear that you take with you and run it down to the weigh bridge. Put it on the weigh bridge, uncouple it from the car, put the jockey wheel down and weigh the entirety of it you'd be surprised how many people are actually overweight. So just make sure, put water in your caravan as well before you do it, fill the water tanks, you'll know exactly where you are. Now, talking about water tanks, often caravans will have water tanks fore and aft of the axles. Now, if you're having a bit of trouble juggling the weight, what you can actually do is manipulate the weight by filling or not quite filling the front and rear water tanks. Now if you're a bit light on ball weight and you want a bit more weight at the front, you fill the front one, put less in the back one and vice versa. But remember, the more weight you add at the back, the more you can increase the pendulum weight. But generally caravans will be well designed. The MDC caravans are designed so you don't have too much at the back, not too much capacity at the back. They're a very well balanced item, but it's something you can keep in mind to assist in getting the handling right. And if you've got a grey water tank, think about where that's fitted. We go camping, we're out in the bush for a couple of weeks, we've emptied either or both tanks, we've filled the grey water tank, we've shifted the weight around on the camper or the caravan. Keep that in mind and make any adjustments necessary to keep the handling good on your trailer. Most of the time you won't notice anything until you actually get into trouble. You're out on a dirt road, you're boring along at 100 kilometres an hour, you think everything's peachy. Next thing you know, a mob of goats or an emu or kangaroo jump out in front and you actually have to take some evasive action or break hard. This is when you're going to find out the handling flaws in your trailer. You don't want it to get to that, that point when you find out that it just doesn't handle and stay straight. So make sure you get it right. If you're between 9 and 11%, you're just about guaranteed everything's going to go to plan. So keep that in mind. So hopefully this has helped you with some uh, ideas on how to get the right balance, how to tow safely. So think about these things next time you're hooking up your trailer, packing it, ready to go away. Well folks, there's some food for thought on how you pack your camper or caravan for your next trip away. For more great information like this, tips and tricks, follow us on Facebook and get the masterclass updates as they happen.